saw some Colorado spark my blunt and hit my bottle. E- Nigga like me is hard to find, just like water. Yeah. Right wrist on David Ruffin, left on Eddie Kendrick. Sauce. Chest on Otis Reddit, all my diamonds singing. Hey, uh-huh. drop top sauce. In the paint, it's all good. Sauce. Me and Cola ballin' out like Matthew Belly and shit. Hey, uh-huh. drop top sauce. Yeah, yeah, we are back, we are back. Hey, welcome to the motherfucking city, man. Welcome to the city. Look at my bro. <laughs> Walking on the air. Yeah. Y'all excited, man? Hey, look. I'm going to go ahead and let the video play. And then my boy Shakedown going to break down some information about us. So you guys own it from day one. Hey, stay tuned. Stay locked in with me. So like, subscribe. I'm dropping more content. Build videos coming for, you know what I'm saying? Build videos, highlights. Can't play all that. Let's get it. And then the smell of the money, my strangest addiction. So the first thing you're gonna notice is that the city has been entirely redesigned. Because of the feedback from the community, it is now 30% smaller than the city in 2K22. It also comes with the ability to fast travel. This subway is located all throughout the city and they can take you almost anywhere. Fast traveling is also instantaneous with no loading screens. As you can see, all four affiliations have had incredible upgrades. The Vipers is now in a sprawling jungle setting. The Northside Knights are now in a castle setting. The Western Wildcats are now in a Canyon Vista setting with chain nets. And take a look at the Beast of the East, now in a volcano setting. There's a new location in the center of the city called The Block. This will be the mecca of competition where you'll find your favorite ways to play competitively. There's several features in this location. You have the theater, we also have the Pro-Am 3v3 and 5v5. The rec center, there's an all new exterior and in the BLM Black Lives Matter courts, which is now a 3v3 experience, and the Kobe courts, which is also now a 3v3 experience. The theater is a new location to play instant matchmaking games. It replaces the warehouses. Apparently it looks like a movie theater where you enter into the auditorium for an assortment of match types. There's gonna be new events every Friday morning. There's gonna be a four event playlist that swaps out every Friday. And there will be new rotating events all year long. Take a look at some of these match types in week one. In theater one, they have Losers Out, which is a 2v2 experience where you can come alone or bring a friend. The only catch is, like the name implies, the opposing team gets the possession after a made basket. In theater two, we have Hustle, which features a 12 second shot clock to keep a non-stop lightning pace of play. In theater three, we have comp squads only. And in theater four, we have Rooks, no squads. This might be a great place to level up your my player. You have to be a 75 overall and under. And here we have additional theater events. Double or nothing, earn double XP when you win. The losing team earns zero. Then there's the in the bank event. You have to shut down your opponent and a point is added to the vault. The first team to hit a shot from beyond the arc will collect the current balance. This is where you bring your perimeter defenders. There's the pulling your weight event. Every player on the team must contribute towards their offense equally. And finally, living the dream. This is where your attributes and badges are maxed for that build during this event. The theater events can be configured in unique ways. You've got 2v2, 3v3, 5v5, squads only, level 40s only, vipers only, etc. All of that sounds really cool to me. I can't wait to try out some of the theater events. Then there's the arena. 
This is where you go for your My Career NBA games. It looks like the outside of a real NBA arena. On the inside, you can do a fashion walk in front of the waiting media, similar to how you might have seen Devin Booker pull up or Russell Westbrook or Dwayne Wade in the past. And then you even have the option to meet with the press in the conference room. There's also a new location called Dreamville featuring J. Cole. You have to earn the right to meet J. Cole, and after you befriend him, he can help you in your quest to win over the city. One of my biggest complaints in 2K22 was just how boring the event center used to look and feel. In 2K23, there's an all new design and flair. They're bringing back some of our favorite events, and get this, the building condenses into a smaller building when it's inactive. When it's event time, the building goes through a transformation as it grows and expands to its full size. Then we have the Jordan Challenge building. Completing the 15 challenges unlocks three exclusive items for your My Player to wear in the city. The rewards are a UNC Michael Jordan jersey for your My Player, gold Jumpman necklace for your My Player, and a number 23 calf sleeve that provides a plus one boost to your my player's dunk rating. All of that sounds worth it to me, so I'm definitely gonna complete those Jordan challenges. Seasons are also making a return. You get fresh rewards every six weeks. More details for season one are coming on launch day. And finally, Becoming Legend is all new in 2K23. There's four different objectives for you to complete. It requires time, patience, and pure skill. The Legend reward is part cosmetic and part performance enhancing. And it says that old gen and next gen have unique legend prizes, which means they're probably different. The new challenge is to try to get both. Yeah, so that brings it to a wrap, man. I know, I know it's a lot of information, but you can always rewatch the video and get all the information you need. Uh, my boy Shake giving the full breakdown. Hey, man, 2K23, man, seems like it's going to be a player's game, a community game. Seems like we got a lot of input this year, and I'm loving it, man. So see you guys out there on 2K23. Let's get it. Make sure you like and subscribe, too. Know the game.